Hey guys, so in this video, I'll be going over some of the more common statistical applications on MATLAB. So today we'll be talking about the RAND operator. There are two major randomizer operators in MATLAB, the first one being RAND, which I'm going to talk about in this video, and the other one would be RANDY with an I at the end, which I'll discuss in a separate video. So let's talk about what RAND really does. Um, if you type in RAND into your command window, it basically randomly generates numbers between 0 and 1. And you can repeat this process over and over and over again. You're always going to get different results. Now, say we want to generate numbers between 0 and 1, but we also want to make an actual matrix out of this. So you could type in RAND and then open parentheses, and you could give it the dimensions of your matrix. And remember, with MATLAB, it's always going to be rows times columns. So we could do two rows, um, four columns, and you're going to see a bunch of elements um, in the dimension that you gave MATLAB um, that are randomized between 0 and 1. And, you know, you could also play with this even more and say you want to generate ra a random matrix with a bunch of randomized ones in it. So you could do rand and then um, let's keep the same dimensions, um, 2 by 4, and then let's tack on a 1. So we're going to do plus 1. And now you see a bunch of ones. And you could always do this for, I mean, different numbers. You could do 12, uh, you know, you could just play with it that way. So that's really um, what the RAND uh, function does. Um, it generates numbers between 0 and 1 uniformly, right here. And then, you know, you could always make a matrix out of it. So remember, matrix uh, MATLAB for formatting is always going to be rows times columns. And then it generates a matrix of the given dimension. And then the RAND operator by itself, it just creates a uniform matrix. That's all it is. Um, so you do... Oh, I don't think I discussed this. So if I do RAND, and then if I just do, let's say, 5, it's going to generate a uniform um, 5 by 5 matrix that are with elements between 0 and 1. And then you could always do um, different numbers. So let's say, you know, RAND 5, I could do RAND um, 2. What I'm going to get is a 2 by 4, a 2 by 2 matrix. So that's really going to be it for this video. If it helped you, please give it a like, and then I'll see you in the next video.